decorations everywhere, all over. I usually put up seven Christmas trees, um, but we're not doing that this year. So these are just some of the decorations I have. paper and use the same ribbon that I use for garland on the tree. Now I haven't finished the tree, I'm just kind of getting started. And these are some of my most cherished things. We had um, outlined our hands when the kids were really little and we use these as our stocking hangers and since we don't use them anymore I've always hung them on the Christmas tree and Maureen is now 21 and married and that's her little hand and there's TJ who's now a grown grown ass man as he tells me all the time so this is just some of our decorations I have to say this year decorating the tree I'm kind of doing it all by myself um, last Christmas I think I was still just caught up in all of the action from the wedding and I was just tired and wasn't really into it but this year I'm really feeling my kids have been grown up um, I'm opening all the ornaments and I'm having memories and um, just of all the wonderful times we had at Christmas so I'm really feeling that empty nest um, even though my son tells me all the time I still live here mom he might sleep here but there's not a whole lot of living here that he's doing so um, this is what I'm doing tonight all by myself don't feel guilty kids I'll be fine well I am still decorating my house and I always see these wonderful Christmas home decor videos and they show how beautiful everything is. Well, I want to show you the chaos of decorating for Christmas. Um, I have decorated my big nine foot tree. It is complete. Um, that is the only thing that I have completed. This is the chaos of Christmas in my living room. Those boxes are empty, but they have to be loaded up in the attic. These, I was looking for something, so I dumped all those out on the floor. These I'm still working from. It's everywhere. I mean, everywhere you step. Decor I've had to remove to hang other stuff up. Um, this is complete. These are my 25 names of Jesus ornaments that we made it last year um, at craft night. So that's done. Another box full of ornaments. And for some reason, the intelligence that I have, I loaded the garland for the tree on the bottom of this box. Um, yeah, you put the lights on, then the garland. So that wasn't really the brightest thing. So I have to remember to put the garland on top and not the bottom because when you take these out, they go everywhere. Um, everything is in a holding pattern. It's just, it's making me crazy. Those are lights that don't work and then some things I pulled off a Christmas tree. My dining room table, uh, yeah, I don't think we're eating here anytime in the very near future. Um, I did put one of my nativity sets on my shelf. Uh, not so much anything else. This tree I went to put up last night and two of the strands of lights didn't work um, after I climbed up in the attic to get it because yeah it we have five of these trees and everyone packed their lights in with the tree box so every box has different set of lights. So when I opened the box to set it up it had red white and blue lights. That was my son's tree so I had to climb up in the attic by myself and get this seven foot tree down out of the attic. My husband, bless his heart, has been working crazy amounts of overtime and he's not home to help me put all of this stuff back up in the attic. So I'm really thinking I might need one of those, you know, buttons that you call. I fall in and I can't get up because I have a feeling I'm going to just fall right out of the attic when I put all this stuff away. Um, I may be a little over dramatic, but you know, who knows. So this is my living room and my dining room. I'm trying not to make you nauseous. This tree over here I have started um, but that's as far as I've gotten I'm gonna try and do red white on these two trees this year um, so yeah th so they'll be on either side of that table when I get finished I did hang Christmas stockings here but I don't think I'm gonna leave them there I don't know what I'm doing yet this pillow you guys will get a big chuckle out of this this is a cross stitch pillow that my mother made for me and she put the dates on how long it took her to make it. It took her from 1994 to 1999 to finish this Christmas pillow. So your mom's not a big crafter. <laughs> so um, yeah, so welcome to my Christmas chaos um, for decor and hopefully by the end of today I will have this cleaned up and I can show you the finished 
product, I also kind of want to go through my Christmas tree and show you some of my ornaments and what they mean to me if I can keep from crying. So that's today's chaos. Well, I finally finished my decorating and put everything away, so I thought I'd show you what it looks like at night. When you walk in my front door to the left, I have these plaid suitcases. Um, I've collected these for a while and I just think they're so cute and I've kind of got a plaid theme going this Christmas. Um, here's the Christmas tree. It's nine feet and it's all complete. It's got this real pretty red plaid garland trim and then I showed you those pictures that I wrapped. Um, here's the furniture that I got for $350 that everybody's been wanting to see. I took the pillows off because they were kind of floral and didn't really go. Um, so there's my couch and my love seat, and I actually bought this table um, for $40 at Goodwill and it was pine and my husband painted it for me. On my table I have these Merry Christmas blocks that I made years and years ago. I don't even know how many years ago at this point. In my little jars here, I have glitter ornaments that we made at a craft night last year, and it's the 25 names of Jesus are all on there. So then directly behind the love seat, I have my two red and white trees. Um, that picture's coming down. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put there, but um, that's coming down. So those are my two tall seven-foot trees. Then in my dining room, which is still kind of a work in progress, Here's my dining room table that we refinished. Um, it's Rust-Oleum Cabinet Transformation. The color is Kona. So there you get to see my finished table. On my table I have a plaid scarf. Um, it's black and red and gray. I bought that at Goodwill for a dollar something. And then in the middle I just have a lantern with my pine cone candle and some other candles. And those are real branches that are there. So that's my table. And then over here, this is just sitting here for now. I don't know what I'm doing here yet. This is all my apothecary jars. And I filled one with candy canes, but nothing major. Then I have a nativity set. I love nativity sets. I think I have four or five of them. And then up top, I have these three reindeer that I've had for a long time. I have these cute little Noel sign with the bears on it. I bought that at a garage sale, I think for $2. And then up above here is some um, brass deer that I bought at a yard sale. And this tin, it's not really a vase, it's more of a, I don't know, it's a container, it's got a wire handle. But inside I put more evergreen branches. So this is what my living room and dining room look like. I may do a quick overview tomorrow in the light just so you can see a little bit better. And here is the seven foot tree. I made these little birds out of felt. I bought those Christmas trees. I did not make those. We made these cute little joy glitter ornaments at a craft night last year. So that is that tree. And actually underneath here, the um, tree skirt is actually curtains from my son's room. Um, when we took those down, I saved them because I had a feeling I would have a use for them. And I've used them for table runners, for all kinds of things, for parties, just to decorate and give that theme. So, just use things in different and unusual ways. I bought this at Goodwill. It's actually a music box. I have my angel. There's our nativity family that we made at another craft night. And then some lanterns that I filled with pine cones and Christmas ornaments. And then my stockings and my other tree. In my family room, I actually just took the top in the middle of one of my seven foot trees and put it up on um, this little side table because the, the full tree just kind of looked cramped. So that's what I decided to do. And underneath here, again, another one of the curtains and these cute little penguins that I bought at a garage sale. And then here is one of the pillows I made. Let's see, let it get it focused with the sweaters that I showed you in a previous video and I'm waiting to make that one but I wanted to see how they were going to look. So let me see if I there's enough light. This is another one of my nativity sets. Um, I actually bought this one at Goodwill. 
They were less than a dollar a piece for each thing, and my mother had one of these um, when I was a child, and she gave it to my sister-in-law. And when I found this, um, I just had to have it because it reminds me of setting it up when I was a little kid. So that's my family room decorations. And I may or may not put more out, I'm not sure. So stay tuned. Just a real quick daytime look of my decorations.